I will demonstrate a complete packet radio link. The protocol used for the packet radio is AX25. Radio number one is attached to a Raspberry Pi 3 that has a, an interface configured called AX1 which has attached to it my call sign and an IP address of 10.0.0.2. The radio itself is a Yaesu VX8DR that it is connected to this Raspberry Pi 3 running uh, Raspbian Linux and it, they have a uh, signal link USB in between them for push to talk control and receive transmit level adjust. I have found that these levels on the knobs produce uh, good results. The delay should be minimized to prevent collisions between packets uh, being sent and responses to the packets. For radio number two, I have another uh, Raspberry Pi. It is a Raspberry Pi 1 and it is connected in a similar configuration to a Yaesu FT897 Delta with its own signal link USB and uh, that is powered up and ready on VHF a frequency of 144.850 um, displaying the interface configuration for this setup we have an AX25 interface called AX3 uh, with my call sign and the internet address is 10.0.0.1 so for this experiment what I'd like to do is start pings going out of the Raspberry Pi 1 which will travel through this radio out over the antenna over the air and will be captured by the HT uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 will then decode those ping packets and send responses. It is not a perfect process because there is a number of factors that prevent uh, the packets from being decoded 100% uh, of the time. And that is simply the radios are too close to each other and um, the packets get garbled because the signal signal's uh, strength over powers the receivers. I have played with the uh, settings, the knobs on the signal link USBs where I can get decent results. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I will start a ping computer uh, with an interval of five seconds between pings and that's going to 10.0.0.2 which is the uh, IP address of the um, port attached to the HT and we'll fire, fire that off. As the ping packets go out, the radio transmits, which shows, which uh, the red light shows, and it's getting some kind of responses. You can see there are replies from the radio that's attached to the Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, it's actually working pretty good right now. There, are, so far, all the replies are in order and you can see the uh, order here one two three five looks like four got lost but there's the ping time it's about uh, eight between three and eight seconds and uh, that's I'm not sure what the what causes the long delays it could be just the uh, the whole the whole system getting getting the packet through and on this end Nothing will be shown on the screen, but since this is a Raspberry Pi 3 with enough horsepower to run a program called Wireshark, I'll start. Wireshark is a program that allows you to look at uh, packets coming in in real time. So I'll start monitoring, and we should see packets coming in. Okay, and once that focuses, we'll to. Fortunately, the color is not showing that great. Okay, there. So we can see ICMP are ping packets. We can see requests and replies. And then we see ARPs, which is Address Resolution Protocol. It's basically the radio saying, who has this IP address tell this IP address. 
and then there's an ARP reply 10.0.01 is at such and such it has to do with the AX25 protocol interspersed we see some ping packets requests and replies so basically there is a link between the two pies uh, ping packets are coming out and replies are coming back and that concludes the presentation